Um, so in this video we'll be doing something quite interesting which is we will create the form for the edit content as you can see we are on the edit page under components the edit page so we want to create the form I've already created it in the background so I'll just show you right now so um, I pasted it inside this now this is basically a regular HTML form but I'll walk you through what I did the first thing you will notice is that the method here although it's post and uh, the action here this is how you uh, route actions in Laravel we have uh, you use the route function and then you put the name of the route remember in the Laravel descriptions they put the route name here so if you wanted to access the updates the update field this is the the nature of the route name so it should be like whatever your controller is and um, the dot update okay so that is the route name that laravel works with so because we're trying to send data to the update method in our controller so if you come to your controller the edit method is what displays the page but when the user submits the form the update method is what saves it in the dat database okay so that's what we're trying to achieve so that is the form action route.companies and then you have to put the company id all right because uh just like the other time if we look at this place we will see that it, it has to be do with company slash the id of the company you understand so that's why we have route.companies which is the route name then this is the parameter that is being expected so that this parameter will be received in the controller here and then used to find we we'll receive the parameter here the id then we we'll use it to find which um, control which record are we talking about in the database then we update the record so back to the form again so that sorts the form action out so we now enter into the form the first thing you will observe is this csrs field this is cross site request forgery field. It's um, inbuilt in Laravel and it helps you helps Laravel to make sure that people can just hack your site like that. Um, each it will create a hidden field with a unique a unique key into this form so that somebody can normally make this form from another page. You understand? And this key expires. So if the person waits too long on the form, the key will expire. They have to refresh the page to fill the form again. If you don't fill this, your if you don't put this there's no, your none of your forms in Laravel will work so anytime you want to create a form in Laravel by default make sure that you have this CSRS field and two it doesn't matter where it is on the form it can be at the bottom of the form in the middle or anywhere but it must be the form the next one is the hidden field that says as you can see type hidden it says that the method is put and um, you have to know that this is an underscore the method is put and the reason the method is put is because if we go back here the update method expects either a put or patch uh, method but in HTML uh, the method attributes in the HTML form can only take post or get either post or get like this so for you to do all the other HTTP verbs you have to actually put it in a hidden form and uh, tell it that the method is put so Laravel will know that um, it should ignore this post and actually use whatever method you put here so the next one we're going to do look at is uh, this is basic bootstrap form which means you have to put your form elements in a, a form group so we have this form group inside that we have the form label I think this is pretty much straightforward for you I just um, came up with this company name as the form label because I wanted to reflect or refer to this ID otherwise you, you may not even need the four attributes then you have a name you understand so if I show you this form right now you will see that the name is this is the name that is what is showing here then this little um, star icon is what I used to it has the class required I use it to indicate that, um, that this field is required alright so uh, you have the placeholder in case the field is empty if we enter this field we'll see the placeholder enter name okay then moving quickly we have the company id i just generated this so that it's to match with this then uh, it is required which means the user can submit this form if it is empty 
um, as you can see, fill this uh, field. The browser will prompt the user to fill this field, okay? And then um, the description. Description is the name that this field bears in, it, bears in the database. So if we go to a company's uh, model, look at company model, uh, you'll see that the field's name is description. You understand? So that is it. And then uh, it doesn't spell check. There's no need to spell check. So if the person spells the name of the uh, company and it's not an English word, they shouldn't underline it. Then, uh, of course, in Bootstrap, all your field, all your form elements must have the class of form control. But then the value, you know, you know, this is an edit field. In an edit field, you are supposed to pre-fill the fields, whatever the field uh, value is in the database. So that's what we did. Uh, remember, in our control companies here controller in the edit field we retrieve the data we pass it into the view then inside the edit view we received it and uh, this is where that's where we're able to generate it and put it here so this gives us the the company name you understand so the same thing with the second field the second field is basically a text area that does exactly the same thing and gives us the company description so that's basically it and we, we give it uh, five rows and make sure that uh, it can only scale vertical, it can only resize vertically, you understand? Apart from that, um, every other thing is the same thing. Then finally, we put a submit button in its own form group, and then the type is submit. It doesn't matter what color you give the field. As you can see, this is um, blue, but if I change it to secondary or danger, it will change to red. You understand? But it doesn't matter what class it is. Just make sure that the value the value is the name you're seeing on the form here. You're just seeing this submit. That is the value. But make sure that the type is submit. All right. So that's how. Uh, that's the tutorial on uh, WordPress on um, Laravel forms. So if somebody clicks this submit, the content of this form will be sent to this route that you have here. All right. So, um, but if we click it now, nothing will happen because once the content is sent to the route. Um, it will come here and um, unfortunately it is empty this is empty as you can see so in the next video we'll create the content here and what we'll create here is basically something that will just upload the the content to the database all right uh, then finally what we'll have to clean up on this page is the, the right menu so uh, what link do we need on the right menu we don't need to delete okay the, I think this is we need to have a, a delete button here on the right menu then uh, the edit button we're already on the edit page so this button is irrelevant then the add new member is irrelevant so we just uh, put a button that will point back to the index page now you may observe that we didn't uh, add the user id as you can see our form contains only two fields which is the the, I, the name and the description it's an edit form so we don't need an id field but then the user id was not added the reason is that when the user is creating the form uh, we we include the user ID but then that user ID we are not expecting it to change so the person that created the form remains the person that created the form forever so we don't expect it to change so that's why I didn't put it in the it's not editable I don't I didn't put it in the edit uh, blade edit form so our form just contains only two fields all right now that is sorted out uh, let us quickly fix this and then we move over to the next video so uh, we scroll down uh, what I have here is basically just um, uh, companies, uh, list companies. I'll just call it list companies. So um, every other field is irrelevant to us. So list companies will be companies basically this way. Or back to company I think um, instead of list company should be back to company all companies view company so this one should just be a view company so let's see what view show I know this route because if I look at my HTTP verbs I will know that the, the show works like this company slash id company slash id okay and then the index is just uh, companies 
so that's what we're gonna do we have the index index that is just companies and this the company slash ID should um, take on the show so these two links are enough for us let's just refresh and check one more time and if it is cool then we move over to the next video refresh and uh, we check and that that makes sense to me I don't know about you so if we click this it should take us back to the the, the form itself the company itself cool works perfectly see in the next video where we'll fix the the updates then we'll fix the edit link thank you